Max temp on this one so far is 1176. Min temp on this one so far, I'm sorry, max temp on this one is 1083. So we've got 1176 over here, 1083 over here. Okay, that was your intro. Hi, this is Dave from Adrenaline Barbecue Company. Earlier today, we did a comparison test between the Slow and Sear and the Big Green Egg using Big Green Egg's perfect steak recipe. And we demonstrated how the Slow and Sear actually competes with the biggest, baddest searing machine out there as far as grilling steaks. When we got done with that, we thought about the question that we knew you were gonna ask why cook at 650 if the recipe you know it says 650 but can you cook hotter than that so we've got a full load of charcoal over here full load of charcoal over here we're using a thermalworks thermoq thermometer with ceramic probes that actually read temperatures over 2000 degrees and we just let these run with the lid on even though we seared with the lid off and i would expect these temperatures to climb with the lid off we decided to do a lid on to lid on comparison just just to keep it equal the results might be a little surprising a lot of people buy kamados because they think it's the hottest thing in the world you can't get anything better than ceramic and the vortex effect you get from ceramic You've got more airflow over here. You've got larger holes. You've got ceramic holding in the heat. It just makes sense that that's gonna get hotter. Over here, we've got a thin metal inexpensive kettle. The difference is this kettle has a Sloan Sear in it. And because of that, the maximum temperature we've read at great level on this cooker is 1196. It's actually, my hand is actually getting a little burn just holding here right here 1200 degrees 1200 degrees the egg right now is at 1049 and the max temperature we have read so far is 1083 what we're going to do is we're graphing this data we're going to keep letting this go 1206 1206 to 1049 we're going to keep graphing this data and let you guys see where the max actually falls out I think we may have already hit it and we're going to see how long these cookers maintain that temperature at least for an hour i think after that we would have cooked anything we would want to cook and there's no reason to continue the test but we're going to let the graph go for a while see what the data tells us and uh, we'll check back with you in a little bit So this has been an interesting evening. We just got through running a second test on the kettle because the first test was almost unbelievable. Max searing power over here was 1206 degrees. Max searing power on the egg was 1083. So leader on the market for searing power, 1083, slow and sear, 1206. And throughout the test, which lasted about 50 minutes before they started losing steam, the slow and sear was hotter than the big green egg by a nicely measurable margin. We've got data, we're gonna make a graph, we'll show that to you. I think that's really exciting. In fact, we thought that was so exciting. We ran the test again just to make sure that there was not some anomaly that we just missed in the first test. So got the data here I'm gonna hand this off to, to Justin so he can show it to the camera and we want you guys to see the app actually recording the data live so this was the first test and then this is our second run and as you can see right now it's 1117 degrees so I mean this is great stuff I'm, I'm really excited about, about this result I hope you are too 
Slow and Sear has searing power that even exceeds what's commonly considered to be the leader on the market. If you want more information, visit our website, abcbarbecue.com. Check out the videos on our channel, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, let us know what you think, give us any questions you have. And remember, at Adrenaline Barbecue Company, we didn't invent the kettle, we perfected it.